uh, the rainbow that I see right behind me uh, is uh, an indication of that because we can see the weather let up a bit. We can see, uh, you know, the clouds let up a bit. But uh, still, Himachal is in the red with seven districts uh, under the red alert where torrential rainfall over the course of the next two days is concerned. In terms of damage, it's going to be very, very heavy that uh, the state of Himachal pays the price for it. Uh, these uh, were the ground reports filed by my colleague Ashutosh and Manjit Sehgal in Mandi, Himachal. Situation in Mandi remains grim. Yet again, the river water level is on increase, the rise in the level is more than three to four feet. And this is the Bias River, which has entered into the residential areas just along the riverside. You see, these are the mostly shops. Now, the world has totally been inundated. And here, what it looks like almost a sea wave, but this is just a river water because the intensity of the rain, which hasn't decreased since uh, last 24 hours, we are only seeing continuous rainfall, and that has triggered the massive, massive flow in the Bias River, the other drainage, which is usually a uh, you know, mountain nala, mountain drains, which were all just two hours ago were flowing almost eight to nine feet lower than what you see in these images. So the bridge that you see was washed away by the water flow yesterday along with seven others and that's the ancient Shiva temple is now being totally disconnected have gone totally out of reach from the people and that explains the furious rain in Himachal Pradesh. In Mandi, with Nasir, this is Ashutosh Mishra for India Today. Torrential rains have wreaked havoc in Himachal Pradesh and majority of the rivers are in spit. We are in Mandi where we can see the Solan Bias River with, where the flood water has almost touched the residential areas, be it the temples or be it the houses. People have been moved to the safer places after the flood water entered their houses, be it the Thunag or be it the Pando area. These areas experienced floods after the flood gates were opened by the dam administration. As far as the alert is concerned, the Met Department has predicted rains till 13th of this month. Flood water has entered the residential areas and scared the local residents. That is why the administration has asked people now to venture the low-lying areas, the river beds and the highways where shooting stones can take place. As far as the impact of the rains is concerned, public and private property worth several hundred crores has been damaged during the torrential rains. With camera person Aman Gupta, this is Manjit Sagal in Mandi for India today. As I climb up to Mandi where my colleagues are, when you speak to the locals here, they'll say it's a 10-year curse that comes calling every 10 years. They call it the curse of the river Bayas. It happened in 93, it happened in 2003, 2013, it's happened in 2013, 2023, where uh, the river Bayas, this time the monsoon plus the western disturbances coming in and consuming the state, bringing to it uh, a Himalayan tragedy of sorts. 